Congrats for a new recipe featuring our underappreciated fruit, <laughs> the pear. Oh, I've always loved the pear, but we're going to do more. Or Laura McIntosh is going to show us how to do more with the pear. How ma There's so many types of pears. Right, I've never there seen There are so many types of pears, before. but you guys know you only need one to have a pear. Uh, <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. Okay. Three different are the most popular. This is a star crimson. Oh, okay. I've seen that this one. is your traditional Bartlett pear. Oh, that's my okay. favorite. And then of course, the, the, they call it the brown pear, oh, but this is the box too. pear. That's so my favorite. That's your favorite? Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Now, oh, good. if you get these home and you like to eat them um, really soft or you need them for a recipe soft, really quick tip. Put them in a bag, uh, paper bag, with an apple, and they will ripen really, really quickly. So that's a quick oh. little tip. Okay. A lot of people are afraid of pears. They use them for salads. They've got great flavor. They eat them fresh. But poaching pears is really simple, as well as slicing them thin and using them like a chip or oh. substituting the body of the pear, this slice, for your charcuterie board. So you can oh. put your cheese on it, salami on it, anything. It can be actually your cracker. So use that Got as it. a substitution. Oh. Okay. I did a, a cacao dried pear chip, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And really it's just cacao, Ooh. you know, sugar, ginger. I'll show you that recipe really quickly. You put it in at 275 in the oven. For about an hour and okay. you just let them dry and then it's a great little Yummy. chip and you, i've done cacao but you can use anything that you'd like to poach this pear i'm going to do a honey poached pear with burrata you need a pretty heavy pot if you have one and the pot needs to have a lid um, what you're going to do is you're going to peel your pear all right and i wanted to show you the way you're going to peel it you're going to peel it strip down so from the, the stem all the way to the bottom okay because you want the pear to be really pretty because you're poaching it and that's going to be your final placement you know what they're going to see in the pot you're going to put about depending if you do three you're going to do half of a 750 milliliter bottle of dry vermouth you're going to add a half a cup of water you're going to add a bunch of local beautiful honey in here and of course, as always, a pinch of salt. Bring this mixture to a simmer, really easy. Once you have simmered, once it's come to a simmer, you add in your pear that you peeled, okay. voila. Voila. And then you cover it. And you're gonna cook this um, for about anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes. You're gonna check it with a toothpick. You want it, uh, you want it firm, soft, because it will cook once you take it out. Okay. When you Low take heat, them out, you said? It will look, would you say, Tina? Low or medium heat? Low, it was simmer. You're yeah, gonna wanna simmer it. it because that steam and that light bubble is just gonna infuse that pear and just continue. Wow, look at that. Right, and yeah. so this is what you have. Okay. You take the pears out once they are al dente, and then you're going to, the sauce that's left in there, the liquid that's left in there, you're going to make a syrup. So when you're done making the syrup, you're going to pour the syrup over the pears and put in the refrigerator for two hours. Voila, okay, we got about 15 seconds. Okay, pear goes in the plate. The sauce that you have put goes over the pear. Oh. It's poached. Now it's being slapped in all of this. Remember the recipe and here's your burrata right on the side. Oh my. Boom, wow, yummy. Isn't that great? It's on the website, bringithome.com, and about three or four other really easy and delicious recipes to use for pears. Yay, Laura McIntosh, we love you, and always nice to you see guys. you. Thank you so much, so much. All right, we'll be right back. Ooh.